In today's video, we're going to be talking about the tropics and how Invest 95L might impact the Lesser Antilles as a tropical storm or a weak hurricane. And we'll be looking at Tropical Storm Dawn as it's spinning out in the Atlantic right now, starting to uh, weaken somewhat, but we'll take a look at that in, in a little bit. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, if you do enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe and turn the post notification bell on so you do get notified when I do go live or when I make a video. And please share this channel with your friends and family so we can get the word out to people and we can let them know let them know what weather's coming their way. And yeah, let's get into the video. So as you can see here, this is Tropical Storm Dawn out here spinning out in the Atlantic. It has 60 mile per hour winds with a 998 millibar uh, minimum central pressure. It's moving northwest at 14 miles an hour. It's supposed to be just keep on spinning out in the Atlantic right now. It may start to weaken, but there is some signs of it strengthening right now. And this is Invest 95L. It has a 50% chance of forming in the next two days and a 70% chance of forming in the next seven days. And we'll take a look at that right now. All right, guys, these are all the model intensity guidance for Invest 95L. This is as of 00Z of July 22nd. And as you can see here right now, basically Invest strength. And then most of the models have it becoming tropical storm strength. And some of them go all the way up to being like Cat 3 right here. Cat 2 and Cat 3. But I think it's probably going to get to like maybe like Cat 1 like right here. So about four days out. But like I said, it could be about almost a week out by the time it gets to a hurricane. But yeah, so a lot of models are having it becoming a strong hurricane. While some models are having it just becoming a tropical storm. And some of them just don't even have it forming at all. And we'll take a look at that in a second all right guys this is one of the hurricane models that i use it's called the hwrf model and this is for 95l right now and we'll just take a look at what it's what it has uh for the storm i mean right now it has a week uh, it has a very weak right now that was a 14 millibar for the next day and then we go into the next two days it was starting to become a little organized right here this was during this was during the day this is during the morning Right here, this 12Z on July 23rd. And as you can see, it's pretty weak right now. But like I said, as we move on, it goes, it strengthens right now. Really, it just, you know, starts to strengthen rapidly at some point within the next three days. And then this model has it becoming, this is where it hits the Lesser Antilles as a 1001 millibar, possibly tropical storm. But this is too far out to tell. But yeah. So it has it hitting this and then going on to strengthen even more to a 996, 995 actually, millibar system. It's just probably a strong tropical storm. But yeah. All right, let's go look at Dawn right now. Tropical storm Dawn right now is just spinning out into the lane right now, as you can see. There's some signs of it strengthening a little bit. As you can see on the uh, southeastern side of it, it's getting more convection with it. But right now it's just going to be impacting no one. And uh, says it's gonna be spinning out in the Atlantic, but yeah, there's Don for you, and we'll show you his tr his track. Yeah, as you can see, it has it being tropical storm for the next until Sunday, and then 8 p.m. on Sunday has a weakening. I can, as you can see, and it's gonna start getting to a depression by Monday night, and then it should be over by then. Right now, this would be the day one outlook as of this morning. There's a marginal risk for severe weather. No tornado threat is mainly going to be a wind and hail threat. And yeah, it's going to be quiet for the next couple of days with uh, severe weather. And here is Invest 95L's uh, track uh, about what models think where this storm could go. They all come into an agreement that May is going to impact the Lesser Antilles. But it's very uncertain on how strong this system will be when it hits the Lesser Antilles. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. It's a short video today. We'll be back with more videos soon. But yeah. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe and turn the post notification bell on so you do get notified when I do go live or when I make a video. And please share this channel with your friends and family so we get the word to people and we can let them know what weather is coming their way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.